How's it going, YouTube? Mystery Shubinator back with another episode of Shoe Care Academy. Today we have a special treat for you. I'm telling you, I know a lot of you have taken your Jordan 1s out of the box or wherever you store them and you look at them and say, what the hell is all over my sneaker? Well, it's this crystallized glitter that appears on Jordan 1s for some reason. We are gonna show you how to remove that today. So I pulled these out of my collection and I saw that this was happening, so we're gonna clean this up. In addition to that, we're gonna clean up the 2.0s. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and remove this. Let's go ahead and make that happen and we'll be right back. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the laces out because a lot of this glitter stuff is, you know, right around the eyelets. Okay, now that we got the laces out, I'm gonna go ahead and take a towel. Got one here. We have a little lotion. Um, we haven't tested different types of lotion, so I'm not gonna promote this brand, but this is what we do. Now, these shoes weren't that bad, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get, a, get ahead of it now. So we got a little lotion, it's on the towel. We're basically just gonna go over the spots. I'll probably just go over the entire shoe. It's primarily on the black leather too, so I'm not seeing it on the orange or the cream color, which is good. It's gonna make my job that much easier. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a dry spot of the towel, and I'm just buffing out kind of some of the excess lotion that's on there. So I did that for this shoe. Go ahead and do the same thing here. I don't see any of this glitter, this crystallized glitter, so, so far it seems to be working. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these midsoles while I'm sitting here with all of this out, and then we'll move on to the uh, 2.0s. So these weren't dirty enough to clean the uppers on, but if your shoes are dirty and you have this you know, crystallized glitter or whatever it is, I would suggest cleaning your shoe first and then doing this process. That's how I would do it, but these weren't that dirty, so there was no need to clean the entire uppers on them. So that's gonna do it for these. There wasn't a lot, but we did get rid of it, and we'll show you that later. Now on to these. Now that we're done with the 1.0s, let's move to the 2.0s. These are the ones that need more help. They're filthy, disgusting. I'm gonna go ahead and set that over there. Today we will be using our essential shoe cleaning kit. This comes with your four ounce bottle of cleaning solution, all three brushes and a towel. This is what we're gonna use here. I do have a shoe tree in there, only because I like to have a shoe tree when I'm cleaning shoes so I can apply pressure to the toe box and you get a much better clean. So first thing we're gonna do, take these laces out and get going. Okay, so now that we got the laces out, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a towel. I'm gonna try something new and I'm just gonna try and remove some of this dirt and gr grime and grease just so I don't have a puddle of nastiness. Not that that helped very much, but it's getting us somewhere. So the first brush we're gonna use today is a soft bristle brush. One thing that I'm gonna do with these, I, I want to avoid getting them too saturated, so I'm gonna definitely remove most of the excess water off of this brush to avoid oversaturation on this material. Okay, as you can see, the soft bristle brush did pretty good on the regular leather, but the tumbled leather here, it's still kind of dirty. Although, I do remember last time I cleaned a pair of these that this material looks dirty when it gets wet, but once it dries, it brightens back up. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, and then we also gotta hit the uh, midsole. So I'll just keep going with this. We'll circle back around with the uh, medium bristle brush and we'll go from there. So I just wanted to point out the toe box here and show you guys what happens to this material when it gets wet. Just so you guys don't freak out if you're cleaning your shoes and you see it and it, it concerns you. It basically just has a weird look um, once it gets you know saturated with water, but once it dries, it'll go from this, which is kind of a blotchy look, it'll go back to that nice tumbled leather look. 
So just don't freak out if you're cleaning them and they start looking funky. It, it should be fine. All right, now that I've went over the entire shoe with the soft bristle brush, I'm gonna move on to the medium bristle brush and I'm gonna get any of the uh, more stubborn stains um, in, especially in this tongue and on the midsoles. The medium brush isn't doing anything for the midsoles, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the stiff bristle brush. And this is why it's so important to have multiple brushes for different materials if you want the most effective clean possible. These midsoles are still looking a little rough. So we're gonna go ahead and take the towel, dip it in the solution and water, and just buff them out. Sometimes this is just the best way to get this dirt and grime and staining off. All right, so this shoe is pretty much clean. I'm gonna rinse out these laces. We're gonna put it on the dryer just so it dries so we can come back and finish this video. Comment below though, which one is your favorite release? Do you like one or two? Let us know below. I have my favorite. We'll see if you guys agree. I'm gonna go throw these on the dryer. We'll be back for this outro. Peace. All right guys, we're back. Shoes have been clean, laced up. We're good to go. As you can see, they look awesome. These cleaned up really nice. There is no glitter crystallized, uh, any type of residue on here. So if you have a pair of these, make sure that you use a little lotion and comment below if you do it and it works, that way other people know. And back to which pair is my favorite, I would say the OG, the original ones are my, my favorite colorway. Um, really, that's gonna conclude this video. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe today to our videos. We launch new videos every Monday and Thursday. Watch out for Vic, Vic's the man. That's really gonna do it. Peace. <laughs>